fresh blueberries These are one of the highest fruits in antioxidants. Welcome to Naturally Gourmet. I'm Karen Houghton, and as a registered nurse, I'm interested in your health. Joining me today is Dr. Wes Youngberg and my daughter-in-law, Sandra Houghton, and we're going to be doing breakfast recipes. Our first one is going to be granola, and Sandra, if you'll measure out seven cups of quick oats. Oats are really good for you, and Dr. Youngberg, tell us what makes them so good for us? Well, oats is one of the best ways to lower your cholesterol. It's really high in that soluble fiber that significantly binds to the cholesterol and helps you eliminate the cholesterol. Other ways is because it's high in protein. So it's, a, it's great for the beginning of the day. Okay. And our next ingredient that we're going to add to is stevia, and that's a natural sweetener. Um, it comes from a sweet leaf. And it only takes a tablespoon, actually, to sweeten this whole seven cups of granola. It's 12 servings, just one tablespoon one of this tablespoon. herbal sweetener. It's a natural sweetener, so therefore it's not going to have the problems associated with those artificial sweeteners that many studies now have been showing actually cause you to increase weight. How could a non-nutritive artificial sweetener cause weight gain? It's because it stimulates you to eat more carbohydrates, the wrong type of food. That's scary. So if you don't have stevia, what can you use in place of that? That's a good sweetener. If you don't have stevia, you can use sucanat, mm -hmm. half a cup of sucanat, and that's a dehydrated cane juice. And um, it's not as refined as white sugar or brown sugar, so it's a nice alternative that you can use to replace stevia. All right. You know, a lot of people skip breakfast, or they'll just grab a donut and a cup of coffee and head out the door to work. So about mid-morning, your blood sugar starts to drop and you get shaky and then you feel like you need something else to eat, a snack, and you grab another snack and there goes your blood sugar again, gives you a little rush and it's gonna drop again. So this breakfast, the granola, is one that will sustain you until lunchtime. And Sandra has just added a cup of unsweetened coconut. Don't need any added sugar so you get the unsweetened kind and coconut's really good for you. Some people are afraid of it thinking that, well, maybe it's going to make them heavier or gain weight. Well, what about that, Dr. Youngberg? Uh, no, actually, it, it, is a, it is a fatty food, but actually it's a healthy fat for us, just like the omega-3 oils that we've talked about. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that we take advantage of the immune-boosting potential, and it doesn't actually increase your cholesterol, and it has no cholesterol in it. Okay. Now Sandra's just added some walnuts, a half a cup of walnuts, and those are good for you. They have the omega-3 fats which are also very good for your heart. And we also have some uh, almonds. Both the uh, walnuts and the almonds actually lower cholesterol significantly. Yes, they do. So if we have it as part of our daily diet, and breakfast is a great place to have that, that's really going to be good for the heart. Absolutely. We've also got some sunflower seeds that we're going to add, about a quarter of a cup of sunflower seeds. And these are rich in vitamin E, they even have selenium in them, and selenium is very good for you. Yeah, it's, it, it lowers the risk of cancer up to 50% when we're using it on a daily basis. So you notice we're losing, you're using a lot of nuts and seeds all in one meal. Most people don't get any of this, and this is one reason that when you eat this way, you're going to have a much lower risk for cancer and heart disease. All right, what do we add next? Okay, the next thing we're going to do is use some liquid ingredients, and that would be a half a cup of water, and then we're going to add some extra light. No, we've got to add the extra light olive oil. That comes about a half a cup of that. Okay. And you have the uh, wheat, wheat germ. Too. We've got wheat germ, and we use a cup of wheat germ, which is high in vitamin E, and that's also good for your heart. So we'll get this liquid level up to one cup, and then we need the vanilla, We're just about to a cup here, a teaspoon and a half of vanilla. We add vanilla to our, let's see, we got the teaspoon and a half of vanilla. To our liquid, we add that. 
And then we have just a little bit of salt to add, half a teaspoon to a teaspoon. And we'll just grab some salt and sprinkle that in. And then, then we add the liquid to our oats. Just pour that in and mix that up. And then when this is all mixed, <coughs> we'll put it on the baking sheets and stick it in the oven. Now what I do at my house is I do it in the evening and then I just set it on 200 in the oven and when we wake up in the morning, we smell granola baking and it smells so good. But if you want to make it during the day, you can do it and set it at 225 and let it bake for about an hour to an hour and a half and stir it about every 30 minutes and then it'll be all finished and ready to go. This type of breakfast has great satisfaction potential and that's when we eat this way you're much more likely to feel good and have a lot of energy and be able to use your brain properly all throughout the the morning and into the afternoon as well. Now Sandra's going to put that on the cookie sheets before it goes in the oven and I just want to show you here we have a bowl of the granola that's finished and in the morning before we go to work or start our day we have a bowl of granola and then we add a tablespoon of chia seeds. Chia seeds are very high in omega-3 fats and they're also known to give you extra energy. And one tablespoon of chia seeds gives you three tablespoons of, I mean three grams of fiber. And then flax seeds. We have flax seed. And if you haven't ever heard of flax seed, you need to get acquainted with it. Flax seed comes in brown or it comes in gold, either one. And they're both good for you. But flax seeds help to reduce inflammation in your body. And they help open up your arteries. It helps to lower cholesterol and triglycerides. It's one of the best sources for the omega-3 fatty acids as well that are, are so important for the immune system. And one thing I want to tell you about flaxseed is you can't, if you eat it just like this whole, you don't digest it. It just goes through your system and you don't get the benefit of the nutrients. So you want to pour some of the flax seeds into a little grinder like this. Plug that in. And then you just put the grinder on just for a quick spin. And there you have your ground flaxseed. And you would just get a tablespoon of that out of your grinder or you can pour it in a little bowl and put that on top of your granola. That's another two grams of fiber. So now the bowl of granola is nine grams of fiber plus another five with your seeds. And then if you add some berries to it, these berries will add four grams of fiber in just a half a cup. And Dr. Youngberry, uh, how many grams of fiber should we be getting? Yeah, that's amazing. I, I try to get my patients to have at least 10 grams of fiber for breakfast. Most people only get about two or three grams for breakfast and about 10, maybe if they think they're eating really well, 15 grams for the whole day. This way, how many grams are we getting now? 18 grams. 18 grams for breakfast is amazing. That's far more than most people get the entire day. So this is a great way to begin the day with a high fiber meal that's guaranteed to help lower your cholesterol and help you feel so good you're not going to go for that unhealthy snack mid-morning or even mid-afternoon. We'll be right back. Karen Houghton, host of the TV series Naturally Gourmet, has developed a wonderful cookbook from her years of experience preparing tasty and healthy meals from a plant-based diet. In her cookbook Naturally Gourmet, Karen features a wide variety of recipes, from baked breads to sumptuous soups, from excellent entrees to delightful desserts. I'm Karen Houghton, and if you've been enjoying these programs, I want to tell you about our new website, www.naturallygourmet.com. At that website, we have available DVDs, full set of them from all these cooking shows. We also have available a cookbook called Naturally Gourmet with more recipes and more health information. Order Naturally Gourmet today for only $24.99 plus shipping and handling at naturallygourmet.com or call 760-723-8082. That's 760-723-8082. Your adventure into healthy living is only a phone call away. <laughs> 